Hi, this is Dr. Tom Rogers at Performance Medicine, um, coming to you with a weekly podcast, the Common Sense MD podcast. We're going to have some fun today um, because I'm going to talk about something not so quite as serious as COVID and some of the other things we've been talking about recently. Um, I'm going to talk to you about a common household product <clears throat> that it can also be classified as a medicine. Um, I started thinking about doing this podcast because I recently read this little book called The Baking Soda Secret. And as I was looking through there, I was thinking about how useful baking soda is. You know, it's in everybody's refrigerator uh, to make your refrigerator smell better. But I'd also been using this Arm & Hammer baking soda deodorant, uh, antiperspirant, really for a long time. And every once in a while, I'll get a rash where I use it. So I started thinking, is this stuff really good? I thought baking soda was really good, which it is, is and I'll show you why. But when I started looking at it, it had some other ingredients in it as well, including aluminum. You know, we live in a very toxic world, and Aluminum is one of those things that you really want to not use because it it kind of stimulates estrogen production um, and it blocks your sweat glands. You really don't need that. You just need a deodorant, not an antiperspirant. Um, but it also can lead to um, increased risk of dementia. That's why you should um, not wrap your food in aluminum foil. Uh, so aluminum, it turns out, can be kind of toxic. We live in a very toxic world, and with all the other stuff going on with stress and sleep patterns and everybody's obese, the foods we eat, you know, you don't need to put things on your skin that um, can potentially be toxic for you. Anything you put on your skin is just like swallowing it. It gets in your system. So I did switch. I found a couple products here and I'll tell you about them in a minute. One product I've used for a long time is a toothpaste called Tom's and it's not because my name's Tom but um, well that may be one reason I picked it up initially but um, I was also getting a lot of um, canker sores and irritations in my mouth and toothpaste made it worse. Um, so I think I've got a little, my body reacts to things pretty easily, I believe. Um, and I've had allergies through my lifetime and maybe that's one reason, but anyway, so I like this, um, this toothpaste called Tom's because it doesn't have any fluoride in it, uh, or SLS, which is another toxin in most toothpaste. So this, these things are really nice little toothpaste that I love. Um, doesn't irritate my mouth at all. And so, talking about deodorant, and I found a couple of more Tom's products um, for deodorants because they don't have aluminum in them or any parabens. Um, one of them even has some lavender, and this one has prebiotics in it. So, um, you know, I've really enjoyed using these. They don't make my arms, my underpits itch or break out in a rash like even the baking soda one did because it had all the other bad stuff in it. Um, so let's talk about baking soda, the original premise of this talk today. Um, I think it was in 1970, the World Health Organization termed um, baking soda as a, in their list of essential medicines. So it's good to keep around. Um, when I read this book, I went out and got some more of it, loaded up on it. It's really, um, it's sodium bicarbonate and you've, you've probably used it when you had acid reflux, you know, you can put a, a tablespoon in a glass of water when you have heartburn and it'll really immediately, um, calm your heartburn burn down. It's alkaline. That means that it neutralizes too much acid. You know, for years I've put just a pinch in my coffee, uh, especially when I used to get the more acidic coffee. Now I'll get a less acidic coffee that's organic. But I still put a little bit of baking soda in my coffee so it won't uh, irritate the stomach. Um, uh, 
you know, there's there's a difference between baking soda and baking powder. They're not the same thing. They're both leaveners that make things rise like bread. Um, but it turns out baking soda is just one ingredient. Baking powder has a number of other elements already in it. So what I'm talking about is baking soda. Um, so it's a very effective cleaning agent. That's what, and it's not toxic. I mean, there's a lot of these cleaning agents that you use on a daily basis that are, that's very toxic to you. Baking soda is not toxic. It's very sterile, so it really cleans everything. You can clean your bathroom with it, your toilet, your sinks. Um, you can clean almost anything with it. You can use you can use it as a, a toothpaste or mouthwash. Um, it kills roaches. It kills fleas. Um, so you can use it on your pet. It's totally safe, and it can. You can bathe your pet in it and get rid of fleas if your pet has it. Um, so definitely put it in your refrigerator. And also one thing you can do as well is sprinkle it in the bottoms of your shoes. And uh, it will, um, your, your feet won't smell and your shoes won't stink. Sometimes what I'll do, if you add a little bit of cornstarch to it, and you can use it as a deodorant by using a little cornstarch, water, and baking soda makes kind of a paste. Um, you can remove stains in your carpet with it. I'm just going through this book, all the things that I'd kind of underlined that it really was amazing what you can do with this stuff. Um, again, you can use it as a shampoo. Uh, you can use it as an insect repellent. You can even put it on um, mosquito bites and bee stings, and it'll immediately calm them down. Uh, you know, has your dog ever gotten sprayed by a skunk? Mine has a couple times. It's, it's just terrible. You can use baking soda to get that skunk smell out. You have to use hydrogen peroxide, a little bit of dishwashing detergent too, but it works well for that. Um, it's, it's an alternative as a pesticide. Instead of using Roundup, you can use baking soda. Uh, just add water to it, a little bit of olive oil, and you can you can kill crabgrass and those things with it. Um, you can even revive lifeless plants with this stuff. Um, the other thing you can do, you know how beans, when you eat beans, it gives you gas? Well, you can add baking soda as you cook your beans, and they won't give you nearly as much gas as, as without it. So you can try that. Even make hummus with it. Um, you can make foods fluffier. Um, the air in your house is five times more polluted than the outside air. So you can use it um, as a deodorizer for your house. Um, and when you use it for a cleaner, you can combine it with white vinegar. You know, white vinegar is so good for you. And combined with baking soda, uh, you can use it as a very effective cleaner. Um, you can even clean your produce with this. You know, you should eat organic, but when you get something, you don't need organic food if it's really has a thick outer shell on it, but you still need to clean it. And you definitely need to clean the thin skins like grapes and things like that. Um, bananas are thick, not so much. Although grapes and bananas, as you've heard me talk about before, are not really healthy for you if you're overweight, too much sugar. Um, another thing you can do is pour... Um, this baking soda in the bottom of your garbage can so they won't stink. Uh, it cleans up your bar barbecue grills. You can put it as a paste on your face or, or places where you get ingrown hairs. It'll, it'll uh, help the ingrown hairs come out. Um, you know, so it's just a great, um, it helps burping. Like I said before, it relieves acid reflux and heartburn pain. Uh, you can use it if you have sensitive teeth. Um, it reduces inflammation. You know, I like it with apple cider vinegar. Um, and you can put it on like a sore knee. Works great for that. Um, it also will inhibit yeast, fungal, and bacterial growth. Like I said, it's kind of like an antiseptic, uh, but it's, it's just totally safe. Um, I've even known people to to uh, get eczema relief from it. 
Um, you know, it's great to take an Epsom salt bath, but you can also take a baking uh, uh, soda bath, and it uh, can help your eczema. You get a lot of that uh, itching and burning really helps that. Um, it can ease cold symptoms up. It can relieve the discomfort. Uh, comfort of a urinary tract infection. It can actually prevent kidney stones because it alkalizes the urine. Um, it has a, kind of an anti-cancer role. Cancer loves sugar, but it also loves an acidic environment. So if you alkalize your environment, you can definitely uh, cut down on your risk of cancer. Um, it can treat chronic kidney disease. If you notice your creatinine is going up for whatever reason, you've used too many non anti-inflammatories or um, you've had high blood pressure and your creatinine is going up, creatinine clearance, and you may try um, adding a little baking uh, soda to your water and uh, it'll help alkalize that and, and help prolong you from getting into problems with kidney disease. Um, it also probably helps you prevent osteoporosis as well. And it's used as a beauty product. And the average American woman uses 12 products containing 148 different ingredients every day. The average man uses six products with 85 different ingredients every day. So we're literally bathing ourselves in dozens of chemicals, and you really need to start thinking about that, especially if you suffer from brain fog, chronic fatigue, um, all these things. We, we just live in a very toxic environment, and you, know, you ought to think about you know, buying a little bit more baking soda. It's cheap. It works. Um, you've seen and heard about the many uses. Um, you might even want to you know, I want to pick a copy of this book up. It's called The Baking Soda Secret from the Alternative Daily. Um, it's a really nice little little small book you can uh, keep as a reference in your house. So pick up some baking soda. I hope this has been kind of fun and useful. Um, live your life clean. Drink a lot of water. Uh, I hope to see you next week. It's Dr. Tom Rogers, the Common Sense Doctor. Mm -hmm.